a robot that reacts to human reaction and physical condition. A Japanese firm recently unveiled a robot which it says can read human emotions and has a program with an intelligence level equaling to a 13-year-old. Robots with artificial intelligence are gradually becoming a reality. Korean scientists are also working to develop intelligent robots that will soon be appearing in our living room. A robot that can cook following orders from its user to cut cucumbers and make salad. As such, intelligence robots that can understand human command and emotion and provide services accordingly are being developed and becoming part of our everyday lives. In its testament, the world market for intelligent service robots has been growing 30% on average every year and it is expected to reach 53.6 billion US dollars by 2020. The Korea Institute of Science and Technology, also known as KIST, has been leading the research on intelligent service robotics in the country. Not only limited to cooking robots, scientists here have also contributed greatly to the development of other robots. Then what is the core technology in an intelligent service robot? Through the human robotic interaction technology, robots can register a user's voice, facial expressions, and motions to react accordingly and even make a conversation. You look very happy. I am happy too. Kibo Kibo is a humanoid robot developed at KIST which focused on human-robot interaction. Kibo can show 10 different facial expressions, such as happiness and sadness, through its eyes, nose, and mouth. Kibo's most important feature is to have a face. It's a face that has two eyes and a face that has a humanoid robot. In general, two eyes that has a face that has a face that has a face that has a face that has a face. 예, 그런 측면에서 보면 인간과 교감하는 데 가장 중요한 그 로봇에 의한 표현 부분이 굉장히 약한 거죠. 그거는 저는 그거를 보완하기 위해서 이 휴머노이드 키보에게 얼굴을 달아줬습니다. 그래서 그걸 가지고 있는 키보는 자신의 감성을 아주 효율적으로 표현을 하죠. Kibo recognizes a user's face, location and obstacles and detects sound allowing it to imitate human motion. KIST has recently implemented a simpler control method to allow the general public easier access to Kibo. Kibo is primarily used by engineers to develop a program. However, this method is a little difficult to use for the user. There are many problems to develop and develop. For this method, we have developed a smart pad or a smart phone to develop a smart pad. 개발을 하게 되었습니다. 이 방법을 이용할 경우 재화를 하기가 좀더 수월해지게 되고 그리고 일반적인 사용자들, 그러니까 엔지니어가 아닌 일반적인 사용자들에게도 보급이 좀더 쉽게 될수 있을 거라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. Another core technology in intelligent service robots is the autonomous navigation function. It is a technology that allows the robot to detect a user's location, avoid obstacles, and roam freely. Not only that, this cooking robot, Ceros, also developed by KIST, can grab and handle objects freely. They all show that robots are so much more than a computing machine. It's a very strong hand, and a very strong hand, and a very strong hand. It's a very strong hand. 
그러니까 이걸 위해서는 뭐그 특히 이제 손에서의 촉각 기술이라든가 힘을 느끼는 기술들, 그다음에 두 팔을 어떻게 그 계획을 해서 원하는 모션들을 만들어낼 수 있는 있느냐 하는 작업 계획 기술이라든가 이런 것들이 굉장히 뛰어난 로봇입니다. 하지만 이제 그 우리 가정 생활 환경에 들어오려면 어, 풀어야 될 숙제들이 아직 많이 남아 있습니다. 가격도 굉장히 싸져야 하고 안전 문제도 해결이 돼야 되고 하는 여러 가지 문제가 아직 남아 있지만 어, 그렇게 멀지 않는 시기에 우리 가정, 우리 생활 환경에 들어오게 될 로봇이죠. Robots are continuously evolving with the development of technology. They are also being applied to our everyday lives in many different ways. One example is Silbot, which is being used to assist the senior citizens in recognitive treatment to prevent dementia. After three months of research with 85 senior citizens, people who used Silbot during treatments showed strengthening in the cerebral cortex, which enhances recognition capability. Helped by these results, Silbot is scheduled for exports to Northern Europe this year. KIST and the local institutions have worked very hard for the past decade to develop intelligent robots. And the Korean government aims to place Korea in the top three in the global intelligent service robot industry by 2020 through continuous support and research. Uh, 그 다음에 뭐 자동차와 같은 기계 산업들이 우리나라 굉장히 어, 세계적인 수준에 이루고 있기 때문에 로봇 기술이 발전하기에는 한국의 굉장히 최적의 장소, 최적의 국가이고요. 그런 의미에서 한국이 그이 서비스 로봇 시장에서, 지능형 서비스 로봇 시장에서 어, 아마 그 선두 그룹에 당연히 끼지 않을까 생각을 하고 있습니다. Robots are no longer a simple machine, but has artificial intelligence to integrate with humans emotionally. Through global efforts, it won't be long before humans and robots interact as we have been seeing on screen. As soon as you order an item online, it gets delivered to your front yard in 30 minutes. You can enjoy a warm pizza at home within 10 minutes after ordering it. Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones with various use. The era of high-tech unmanned aircrafts have begun right before our eyes, bringing a revolution to our lives. This store, located in a department store in Seoul, sells unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. Various low-end, hobby-grade drones priced at below 1,000 US dollars have been released recently, gaining popularity from adults and those who enjoy outdoor leisure activities. 최근 드론에 대한 관심이 많아져서 작년에 비해서 올해 뭐 2-30% 정도 꾸준히 성장률을 보이고 있습니다. 영상 촬영이 가능하기에 최근 휴가철을 맞아 더 관심이 많으신 것 같습니다. This product can be controlled by a smartphone and the video can be directly sent to you by email. The drone reduces risks for possible safety-related accidents by having a protective film near its propellers. With some practice, beginners or anyone can easily play with it. I would want to use them probably like at a beach or like a big open space. Um, some place where there was uh, a lot going on and get a different perspective on it from there. The Unmanned Aerial Vehicle System, or UAV, is guided by radio signals without a pilot and controlled remotely from the ground. Originally, it was used the most for military purposes. But recently, its use is expanding indefinitely from public use to commercial and personal use. UAV is also used in transporting goods, controlling traffic, performing security functions, and even filming. A U.S.-based defense industry consulting firm forecasts the drone market to surge to 11.4 billion U.S. dollars in 2022 from about 5 billion U.S. dollars in 2010. Drones are ICT device and they do play a very interesting role because they can be combined with the existing computer system so they can be sent by computers for uh, any kind of a uh, uh, purpose. So, for example, they can be 
are sent to collect data or they can be sent to deliver the package. So this can be a very good and capable uh, extension of existing ICT. Most of all, drones are widely used in public facilities. They can carry out military reconnaissance and conduct military operations or scout mountains to observe forest fires and spray insecticides. They are also effective in assisting surveillance of security facilities and real-time monitoring. 현재 그 항공 촬영이나 또 어떤 시설물 관리, 보안 시설 관리 이런 목적으로 현재 적용을 하고 있는데 앞으로 기체의 성능이나 그 어떤 법적인 부분이 해결된다고 하면 산업적인 파급 효과는 상당히 클 거라고 봅니다. The world's largest online shopping site, Amazon, has unveiled a project called Prime Air as of last year. Using a drone, the company succeeded in testing delivery of a product to the order, who was located within 16 kilometers from the distribution center in 30 minutes. There has been a similar instance in Korea. In April, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, or KAIST, held an event delivering strawberries using only an unmanned car and drone. It raised hopes for the potential of Korea's drone industry, as it was the first time an unmanned delivery system has been unveiled in Korea. Our research team at KAIST recently demonstrated the uh, the delivery UAV and uh, it is the technology level is already uh, quite matured. The problem is that uh, we don't really have the proper uh, legal support. And uh, this kind of UAV, however, when we have the kind of support, uh, very, very uh, promising to deliver packages where the existing uh, road or infrastructure are not existing. So the t these kind of UAVs can directly fly to the destination with the package delivery and the delivery is exciting. Drones are also widely used as filming equipment. An example that integrated such technologies was unveiled in Korea. A mobile carrier held a live broadcast event recently, filming a wedding ceremony with LTE-enabled drones. The event drew a lot of attention as even the people who couldn't attend the wedding could see the live broadcast wedding with their LTE smartphones. Like this, the era of drones will bring a huge revolution to our lives. Through services with other objects and meeting with ICT, the use of drones can expand infinitely. But we still have a long way to go until the era of drones can materialize. Technological problems as well as legal and ethical problems related to crossing borders and invading privacy still remain. 비행체다 보니까 아무래도 이제 추락 위험이 가장 큰 리스크인데요. 그 인명 피해나 물적 피해가 발생할 수 있기 때문에 이제 그 부분이 어떻게 보면 큰 부작용이라 할수 있고 불법적으로 사용을 한다던가 예를 들어서 불법적인 감시를 한다던가 아니면 불순분자들 특히 테러 분자들의 무기화하는 그렇게 해서 운영됐을 경우에는 정말 재앙이 될 수도 있습니다. And there are also huge economic and institutional shortcomings that countries and industries need to support and improve on. In order to operate UAVs in civilian sector, we need a new kind of law to support it, and new kind of operation uh, rules to support it, and also the infrastructure to operate these systems. Recently, Korean government uh, passed a bill to support the UAV the civilian application uh, to support the infrastructure from year 2014 to 2020. So after this, this, uh, this work is done, we'll be able to see UAVs flying in the sky doing daily job, uh, helping us for data collection or delivering package, and that will enrich our daily lives. In a not too distant future, we will see countless number of drones flying over our heads. The era of unmanned aircraft. Whether drones will become our future companions or invaders is a problem all of us have to deal with.